heard that saying, I had a kiss from God. Well, that happened to me. And uh, I know, right? You're like, come on, girl. But no, it did. I, it was last night in a dream. I'm not a dreamer. Uh, the last dream I had was about three years ago and my little granddaughter was in trouble and I had a warning dream where I saw that she was in very bad trouble and needed me and so I woke up from this dream like like pacing just pacing and just like crying just like oh, please 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 father please so I went to see where she was what was going on and Hence, I'm raising her today, along with her brother, her little brother. Anyway, so last night, I have this dream, and I find myself at a table. And th there is this gentleman at the head of the table. It's like a long wooden table. And there is my granddaughter and my grandson, whom I'm raising right now as their mother, um, like an adoption. I'm actually going to be adopting my grandson this summer, probably. And I had two other children that I had also adopted. Well, this gentleman who was, I, I was just really just loved him because he was just so enjoying my children. And I just thought, what a beautiful heart. He was considerably younger than me, but because <laughs> I was like, oh, that would make a good husband. But anyway, he was younger than me, so I didn't really look at him that way. Of course, I don't know who, he's just a man in my dream when we're having dinner um, with these adopted children. And anyway, and so the next thing I know, I find myself in a marketplace and I'm walking through this marketplace and I see the same gentleman and now he's coming my direction. Well, he turns the corner and he, he's coming towards me. And so when I see him, I literally bow down. I literally just go to the ground, sort of now in a squatting position on the ground with my head sort of down. I don't know why I did that. I just did. I just did. And, but anyway, and when he saw me, he came to me and he bowed himself down to where I was. He, he came down to my level, so to speak. And, and when he did, he got very close to me and, <laughs> He got very close to me, and so his cheek was right there, so I, I kissed him on the cheek. And when I did that, he turned to me, and he kissed me on the cheek. And when he did that, I smelt his hair. And I was like, oh, that smell, it's so beautiful. It was the smell of coconuts, like, like, coconuts like like coconuts on the beach you know that smell of a coconut candle or coconuts at the beach and I was like oh my goodness it smells so good and it was so strong the smell and the dream was so real that I then woke up and when I woke up and I you know, in dream, I knew then that, that this was my husband. And I thought, you know, in the natural, in my natural self, as I'm dreaming, oh my goodness, I've got to go tell my friends that I've met my husband, that, I, that this is my husband. Anyway, when I wake up from my dream, I realize that I'm in my bed and that it was a dream and I I honestly, honestly, like it was the first time ever in my life that I ever thought that wasn't a dream. That, how could that have been a dream that was so real? How was 
that a dream? Anyway, when I realized it was a dream. So, I got up this morning and, you know, I was talking to my friend on the phone. And after a few minutes, I said, oh, I have to tell you this dream I had. And, and I was quite surprised again because I don't dream. I just, I'm not a dreamer. I, I'm just not. But anyway, <clears throat> so I told her the dream. She says, well, what do you make of it? And I said, I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, maybe that man represented Jesus because it felt like him. It, it just felt like him. But I don't know. I, I, I'm just being transparent with you the way it kind of went this morning. I said, but I don't know. And, um, and I said, but the thing that really took me was the smell of the coconuts in his hair. And so she goes, well, I'm going to look up coconuts. So she looks up coconuts, you know, in, in, um, in the Bible. Well, I've never read coconuts in the Bible. And one of my other friends said to me, I don't know about that because there are no, I've never read about a coconut in the Bible. But my first friend looked up coconuts in the Bible and she came to uh, Wikipedia about Christology of coconuts. And it says about coconuts that the coconut exemplifies the incarnation, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I was like, what? And I said, you've got to be kidding me. And she said, no, it's what it says. And, and, and so when I talked to my other friend, and she said, well, there are no coconuts in the Bible. And I said, well, there may not be a coconut in the Bible, but there sure is a tree that the coconuts grow on. And, and isn't it just like that? That, the, yes, coconuts may not be specifically, not that I know, maybe some of you have read about a coconut in the Bible, but I particularly haven't. And, but if you just look up, I know there's a lot of date palm trees in the Bible, but in the Middle East, there are um, palm trees that grow coconuts. And anyway, and it also says that the coconut tree, many consider to be the tree of life because the whole coconut tree, every part of that coconut tree is sustainable for life. Anyway, I just, I was like, it was just unbelievable to me today because the coconut, in looking up the word coconut, it says that the coconut exemplifies the incarnation, death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And today, this morning when I woke up from that dream, it just happens to be Good Friday. I mean, and ironically, I kissed the Lord and He kissed me back. So it's kind of to me like on this Good Friday, it's, it was like getting a kiss from the Lord. And I realized when I was sitting there in the dream, you know, I was sitting with adopted children of mine and I am adopted, I am a adopted, grafted in child of God. And I just was like, just once again, just, you know, a moment, a moment in the Lord of just His goodness and His mercy and His manifest love for us.
so for me today on this Good Friday I am giving this to you as a kiss to the Lord and from the Lord a kiss of coconuts of the incarnation death and resurrection of Jesus Christ on this Good Friday. And I just bless you. I bless you with a kiss from the Lord. I bless you in the Lord. I pray that the Lord will manifest himself to you and that he will kiss you the same way or in a different way, but just that you will feel yourself being kissed by the Lord. Anyway, I just want to share that with you. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, God bless you. Bye-bye.